Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore uh, and learn how to create a CSS uh, file, which is a cascading style sheet for this HTML page. So uh, what is cascading style sheets? They're essentially uh, basically the design for the style, you know, the HTML page. And without style, it looks like this, which is very boring. I have good content here. You know, if I go to the code view here, I have my doc type, I have my HTML page, header, uh, body, nav, uh, side, section. One thing I don't have is a main. Uh, sometimes you wrap uh, sections around whatever that to just to define what is the main content. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to add the main right here. Wrap around it. I'm not going to give it a class, but I'm going to click OK. And now we have the main and then the section inside the main. So that lets you know this is the main content. Uh, then we have footer and body tag. And everything looks great in the code view. So let's go back to split view here. And the design looks awful, horrible. So what we need to do to make this look cool is use our designer, uh, the CSS designer here. Let's click on this tab here. And if you expand it by dragging uh, between these arrows here and drag it over, you can get to two columns. And what this represents, uh, we're going to go over some of these things. Uh, so the source is your actual CSS file. And we don't have one yet, so we're going to create one here. The next area is your media query. If you have selected uh, different sizes for, say, a mobile device, a, a tablet, and then a desktop, uh, they're typically the three types. But you can have many media queries here. And then the selector is the actual rule for the CSS. And we're going to look at that uh, very carefully here in this moment. And then the properties tab right over here is what you can do with the CSS. And basically, you have these uh, properties and values that you change with CSS to make things look cool. So let's start with the body tag. So I'm going to switch to code view to make this easy to see. Uh, I'm going to select the body tag here. and go back to split and that's what I would add as a selector before I add as a selector I have to actually create a style sheet so I'm going to go to the sources tab here and just click on the little plus icon and you got three options here you can create a new file an existing file which we don't have so we're not going to attach it to existing and then you can define a page so what's the difference between defining a page and creating a new CSS file typically the idea behind CSS is that it, it allows you to uh, manage things very cleanly by cascading the styles in one file or maybe a couple files but those files can be uh, essentially linked to several thousand pages perhaps um, and then instead of having to modify thousands of pages you're able to modify that one page which is super powerful and crazy cool. Now there are some instances where you definitely want to define it in a page. An instance for this might be for an emailer uh, that, you know, in order to show off some cool CSS, you would need to include uh, styles in there. But uh, typically, uh, you like to create an external file. So I'm going to do that by clicking here. Now uh, I'm going to link it. I'm not going to import, and I'm going to open up the browse menu here. And I have a folder already set up, which is a CSS uh, folder here. But if you didn't have that, uh, you could you could uh, create a folder inside your document. And that's what I have. I go up one level. Here's my portfolio website, and I have CSS selected. Now I need a file name, and all I'm going to do is call it uh, styles. And uh, I'm going to leave the .css, and then I'm going to hit save. And what will happen is it'll say styles.css, click OK, and just like that you have it here. And you can see it's been selected in the all sources. So now with the body tag selected, again I have to reselect that body tag, I can click on selector and I have added that as a component of CSS. Now let's look at the code here and see what's going on. You'll notice here we have the source code if we go to code view and it's showing the body tag and then look here it's saying a link a uh, href link of styles that's the styles.css and it's a relative link has style sheet with text css so that's telling me there's styles and look at here here's the styles so if i click on that we have it we have a character set which has the uh, utf-8 and then we have a body uh, style here which is selector and that's what we have created here 
So the style looks like this. It has these little interesting curly brackets. And then in the properties here, you can add whatever properties you want to that body. So you have to select the body in order to access the properties. Now, if for some reason you have this little box checked, which that represents is anything that you have, uh, any properties you applied to that selector. You have not applied any properties, so uh, at this point I haven't, so there's nothing there, so I'll uncheck it. But um, now what I can do is scroll through and there's all these cool properties here. So uh, they start off with layout and then text, border, background, and then more. So if you click on these, like more is just a little more category here, which you'd have to search for, because they're not gonna list every style in CSS in here. The background though is just like, Go, scrolling down to the bottom of this list basically right before more and so instead of having to scroll through that huge list uh, you can just click on these little tabs to move you about pretty quickly so if I wanted to add a, a border background I could click in here I could pick whatever color I want click out and you'll see here the actual uh, color so here it is and you'll see a representation of that color so the structure here is the property right here, background color. It has a colon and then the value, which here is just the hex number and then the semicolon. And that's in these brackets here. So, and again, I don't have to do any of that. All that's done automatically for me, which is pretty cool. So if we switch to split view, we can see here what that background color looks like. Now it's not very interesting, this, this bright red, but it's more interesting than nothing at all, I guess. Um, I could come back and again select that body tag. I could check show set and see what I have selected, which is the background color. And I could pick, you know, maybe something a little cooler uh, for the background color. I don't know, a nice gray, for example. Infinitely better than uh, what it was before, perhaps. Uh, of course, next time we'll get to do a lot more when we add maybe a background image. Uh, but the main thing you want to realize here before you're done here is this little asterisk that says styles.css and then the source code, which again, if we go to the code view here, nothing has changed in the code view, but the styles needs to be saved. So get in the habit of going file, save all, and you'll save all your uh, associated files, okay? So until next time, uh, we'll get to try out uh, adding a background. Until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC.